kicking me off or freezing your sound. Okay. But then I, can, I will. I can do it on notebook paper, I guess. But okay. Or I can I can take the minutes if you'd like. It's whichever way. I don't care. Whichever way works for you. Okay. Well. Um, okay, we're looking for a second on the approval of the minutes. Mm -hmm. hmm. Brandon, can you second the the motion for the minutes? Can you hear me? Keep going in and out. I'll second it if you can hear me. Sounds good. We have a second, Mark. Okay. Okay. Uh, so all those, you have to ask the question, all those in favor? All those in favor of uh, approving the minutes at this time. Please say aye. 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 Okay, the minutes approved, okay. Mark. Hey, Mike. All right. Can you check our internet? I keep getting kicked off. Oh. <laughs> can you hear me now? Uh, we can, we can Yes, we can now. Oh, I'm getting kicked off. I'm sorry. Here I am again. Let's hope this works. Dom, I think she's trying to figure out what's causing the delay in the audio. Yeah. I think I might just call in. Can I do it by phone? Sure. Yeah. Let me do that instead because that's not reliant on the internet. Okay. okay. So Sounds good. It, or let me see if it's in the email. I'm just going to hang up and I'll call in. Okay. 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 So what do you do? Put her on speaker, Mark? Um, I no, so well, there's a number. The it's got a call-in number, so she can just oh. dial. Just like, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll be able to hear, and she'll be able to hear us on our phone, on her phone. So is it an adjustment period with the technology? Yes, especially <laughs> for us old folks. Uh, speaking <laughs> about me, <laughs> I wasn't. Pointing to anybody else, just me. <laughs> I have my meeting assistant with me. Oh, okay. What is the meeting assistant's name? Cleopatra. <laughs> All right. <laughs> She's the queen of our house, too. Oh, goodness, that's funny. How's everything else? I see Jessica and the Senior Center, they've all been pretty busy keeping residents and um, folks engaged and fed. Yes. Yeah, that was actually one of the things I was going to kind of go over was that we're making an effort uh, both in the recreation division and the uh, senior center to keep people engaged. And it seems to be going pretty well. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. I, I saw all of that stuff on Facebook. Oh, do you? Yeah. Um, and I'm on, a, I'm on a distro list for volunteers for helping out and I just got a letter about the box that they put out so the guys are collecting letters for the seniors oh yeah I saw that box out in front of the senior center today oh okay I think she may be back in because I see a phone number allow to talk all right hey can you right. hear me? yes I'm it said I would, be, I would be muted, but I think they unmuted me. Okay. Yes. All right. Honestly, God, I was on Google Meetings all day with no problem. Huh. But apparently my system does not like this. But I am here and I am taking those. So we are good. Excellent. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Sorry. You're, you're oh. welcome. I'm sorry for the problem. Oh, no. That's, uh, we're glad to have you in whatever way we, we get you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, All moving right. along, we, uh, we've just approved the minutes, and now we're at the 
citizens petition and comments the, has any I, I doubt anybody's had too much contact but you may <laughs> have so if anybody uh, has something to bring up um, I was just wondering myself about the lights and uh, at the uh, Groton uh, Community Center and Mark filled me in. I don't know if you want to fill in the rest of the folks, Mark. Sure. So Dom had asked me about the lights. As you remember, we got a grant to replace all the lights in the community center with, it was a one-to-one -one switch out with LED lights. All of the lights are in except for the lights in the gym. And those were delayed and the installer indicated that they were going to start and then finish when the gym lights came in but they have not I, I talked to them two weeks ago and they said they would call me last week and they have not called me uh, with a date when they were going to start i'm expecting it's going to be starting soon and another silver lining would be great if they could get in before the community center opens up again so there's minimal disruption and minimal contact with people uh, from different places so hopefully we'll we'll uh, have lighting and it's only going to take them about a week they said so uh, once they get in it's going to happen pretty quickly but we're still waiting for them and i don't know you know if part of the problem is if they've lost some staff uh, you know, due to the virus, that could be delaying them getting the work done in the time that they said they were going to get it done. Any other comments uh, or concerns or issues from any uh, any other citizens? Um, this was from before COVID shut everything down, but people were still wondering when the internet's going to happen at the community center. Yes, so they are running the wires uh, they have been for the last couple of weeks, and I, I am actually not sure where they are. The project is underway, but I don't have a timeline, and I forgot to call IT, because I usually call IT every month, and I say, okay, I've got a commission meeting coming up. Where are we? And I forgot to do that this time. So, But I know that they've been running wires and putting the, some hubs in, so hopefully when the community center opens back up we will have internet any other okay, any other issues concerns no nope. okay uh, town council referrals no referrals okay correspondence and communications from any other commissions, I gather? Uh, well, that's generally if commissioners have- uh, Visited, yeah. Yeah, if they've, anyone has reached out to them. Okay, uh, and sounds like nobody's reached out. Um, if you wanna re reports, uh, Mark, if you wanna review your report. Sure. So just real quickly, yesterday we made the decision to close uh, the basketball courts, the skate park, dog park, volleyball courts down at Esker Point Beach, the hockey rink at, in between the senior center and the library and the tennis courts at Farquhar. So, and there was an article, I think in the day on Tuesday, letting folks know that we were gonna do that. And we also posted it out on Facebook. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, all, all of the uh, staff at Spicer House are now working from home and they've been focused on uh, agency accreditation and also making plans for the summer because you know we're hopeful that we'll be able to have summer camp and you know the summer concert series so there's a lot of planning that goes into that where we still have to plan as it with the assumption that it is going to run and you know as dates uh, as time kind of comes and goes we're having to adjust uh, you know whether how we're going to change things and what we're going to do 
if this scenario, you know, if we can't get back until July 1, you know, what is summer camp going to look like? So we're constantly adjusting the schedule as we go from week to week and, and month to month without really knowing when this is all going to be over and, and people can start uh, connecting again. Uh, so that takes quite a bit of their time along with the agency accreditation. Uh, and I mentioned earlier that we're getting a lot of support from other departments. You know, we're having to reach out and say, can you uh, help us with this? We need this information. And, and all the other departments have been very supportive. And the assistant town manager uh, is on board and thinks that it's a, a great thing that we're doing. And so does the town manager, but the assistant town manager has been very, uh, spoken very positively of what we're doing. So that, that's been encouraging. At, at the senior center, we're continuing to serve the grab and go meals. And that has, uh, it, the further we get into this, the more meals we're serving. I think uh, the other day, and it is somewhat meal dependent, but the other day we served 60, we prepared 65 meals. So uh, that's, that's been real positive. Um, all of the senior center staff are either flexing their schedule or uh, working from home. Uh, we are, the, both the recreation division and the um, senior center are working on engagement with those that follow us on Facebook. We've, the senior center is, is doing, uh, I think, a weekly trivia question. And that has, uh, there's a lot of people that have been responding to that. We've also started doing employee profiles, both for the senior center and for the recreation division. And people seem uh, pretty engaged in that. And we also started something new um, last week and it's called Richardson's Rec, R-E-C, the internet. And uh, Faith Richardson and her family are doing different activities uh, on the internet and that has gotten a lot of attention. I think last week they showed how to create expanding paint. Uh, they've got a, uh, an episode coming up on uh, a laser maze and I saw a preview of that today and that's pretty cool. And these are kind of things that you can all do from the house um, and, and kind of engage the whole family. So that's been um, kind of our, our efforts to uh, keep people engaged. And, and we've also been sharing work that we've been doing. Um, we shared out that we have uh, redone the floors in the gym and the dance studio, excuse me. Um, We've also posted out that uh, the park staff have been working on uh, installing the playground uh, out behind the community center, and that is probably 90% done. Uh, they're going to pour the, pour the cement next week to firm up the posts, and then we've just got to put, um, put in the safety surface. And I'm trying to think what else. There was one other... Oh, we've been painting the hallways outside the gym. Those never got painted. And so uh, we've painted those with the same branding colors for the department. And so we're trying to let people know or see, you know, that there is some light at the end of the tunnel. And, um, you know, we're, all of us are busy working and, and like I said, planning for when this is all over so that people will be encouraged and, and not... Uh, yeah, so people will be encouraged. So I think that's pretty much it for the director's report. Mark, I just have one question. Sure. Uh, re regarding the grab and go meals. Uh, yes. From the, uh, uh, that's on a daily basis, correct? It is, yes. Uh, how many meals do they, do they serve prior to the virus on a daily basis? Oh, the, the grab and goes, they were serving probably, well, we would average like 300 a month. So that's what, 75 a week? Okay. And oh, I was, oh, no, I was just looking at the, uh, the lunch. How many lunches? Yeah, the, the total, uh, they were probably doing about 100 meals a day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so it, it has dropped off. The total number of meals served has dropped off. 
but the grab and go has has jumped up quite a bit. And, and is there anybody helping deliver meals to? Yes, we have a, a bus driver, so we still are running a bus for those folks that are going to chemo sessions or to dialysis. Uh, and we're also delivering probably about a dozen meals to home buyers. Did somebody drop some dishes or something? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I'm sitting in a chair. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> sounded like a vacuum cleaner or something. Nothing Mark, here. That, that's, that's good oh, stuff. Oh, a car went by. Could you hear that? It was a truck. Maybe that was it. Oh, I think maybe. that might have been it. Wow. Uh, Mark, that, that's good stuff. Is there any way that you could market that? Well, we have, there was a great article in the day. In fact, it was, there was a picture on the front page of the day on uh, St. Patrick's Day because the staff got all dressed up and we're serving corned beef and cabbage. And yep. yeah, so, and we've actually had, one day we had somebody donate money to cover the first 30 meals. So as people drove up, the first 30 folks all had free meals. And uh -huh. It was a, an anonymous donation. And yeah, we have, uh, we've gotten a lot of positive publicity uh, about the fact that we're still serving meals and, and delivering meals and- uh, That's great. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Any other uh, any other commissioners have questions for Mark? No. Okay. Let's move to the golf course. It looks like it's pretty busy. I could tell you that. It, I live it is. right across. I live right across from uh, hole number twelve. Oh, okay. There is a yeah. steady stream. Yes, we've been. And as you were mentioning earlier, when you were golfing at that other golf course, I won't mention it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he had the nerve to tell me he was going to our competitor. Yeah, um, I'm glad Jim's not here to hear this because he'd really be giving you oh, a hard know. time. That's why I brought it up now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like that other golf course, we have seen a lot of folks from coming from Massachusetts. As I understand it, Massachusetts, there are no golf courses open. Right. That's what I've heard. So, and we're getting calls from folks that live around Boston. How far are you guys from Boston? And people are driving down to play golf at Shenacosset. Mm -hmm. um, so we've, um, Hey, Mark, can you hear me? I think Mark froze. Oh, okay. So are we, I couldn't um, remember, and I maybe I missed it, but did he say the golf course is going to close too, along with all the other parks and recreation facilities, or is that going to stay open? What he, what he said was that the Massachusetts closed its golf course. Oh, I know, but earlier when he was listing all the things that it was decided yesterday that they were going to close, was um, the golf course one of them or just the basketball course and the skate park and all that stuff? The golf course was not one of them. Oh, okay. And I, I seem to have lost Mark. Yeah, it looks like he, he must have dropped off. He must have had a bad connection. Oh. Uh. He might try to call back in. So we could probably just kind of carry on with the rest of the meeting. Okay, sounds good. It sounds like he was finished with the director's report anyways. When we were moving yeah, on. he was done. He was done with the director's report. So I moved on to golf course and that's where we were. Yep. And it's, so the next uh, agenda item is trails, uh, coordinating task force. Does any, do any of you, Angela or Fran, do you attend any of those, those meetings? No. No. Okay. Nor do I. So. So they split this next. I don't know if the month I'm going to be on, I know there was a lot of people last July before about having chapter of these meetings. Are you guys still there? Because I can't hear anything. Yes, I, I am still here. I, I just lost Mark. Mm. But I can't hear Angela either. 
Can you? I was. No. Angela, uh, I was hearing her, but now I don't. Oh, no. You really? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I couldn't hear anything you said after we Dom go. asked if we were participating in meetings. Oh. No, so um, last meeting we had, they said that the trails committee met quarterly and there was a meeting coming in March, but I don't know if they actually held that meeting because okay. it's right in the thick of everything happening. I see. So, Mark, all right. Yes. So I'm waiting for Mark. He needs to report on the athletic fields. So, um, how are we able to keep the golf courses open through this, where everything else had to close down? I I think the uh, governor Lamont addressed that uh, in that uh, a they have, they're able to space. Uh, and practice social distancing. Uh, and there's a number of things that took place. Like they took anything, uh, like you have to walk, you can't drive a cart. There are no carts because uh, then they would have to wipe down the steering wheel, et cetera. There's no flags on the greens. Because typically people, when you get onto the green, you handle the flag. Well, now there is no flag. So those are some of the things that they've done at, uh, at golf courses to help fight the uh, transfer of the virus. But people are still doing it in groups together, right? They are or still- Or are people putting, only allowed to do it single? No, they, they can play four in a group, uh, but it's easy enough to stay uh, six feet apart, um, but there's not only uh, groups of fours. You see singles, you see doubles, and for the most part, they are practicing uh, uh, social distancing. Okay, so the people uh, are not like actually together. They're just staying six feet apart the whole time. Correct. Got it. Correct. Because I was wondering, like, I know there's some people who are upset upon hearing that certain things are going to be closed. So, for example, a lot of the people in my neighborhood go to play basketball with their families. Like, they live with them anyway. So, they were like, let's go play basketball. And now they're not going to be able to do that because I hear they're taking the hoops down. Yep. Yeah, they, they actually but, already already did. Um, I, I actually, uh, last week, drove by... Um, Sutton Park, and there must have been 25 kids playing basketball, and I mean playing uh, team basketball. And as you can imagine, you're not practicing social distancing. And then in the time, oh, okay. and in the Times this past weekend, I read about uh, New York, and New York, um, you know, they have all those parks. They took down all of their baskets. To keep mm -hmm. uh, to keep people safe, so I sent Mark a picture of that uh, of, a ba of a of a backboard without a basket, and asked him what mm -hmm. we would do. So, so anyway, I don't know. Is our our Fran? Are you able to talk to Mark on your phone? No, I don't hear him at all. But if he called in, he could do it just like the rest of us, unless he's the person running the meeting, it might be hard for, like, I can't see anything you guys see on your screen. So does it look like he's right. trying to come back in? <laughs> right, right, right. He did, so when he dropped off, it, uh, it by default made me the host and I don't see him trying to get back on. So I wonder if he lost internet connection somehow. Yeah. Huh. Well, I think from now on, I'll just call in because this is much better than what I was going through for the first 20 minutes. Yeah, Angela, I just see uh, if you tap your screen, an icon comes down, at least on my device. Uh, yeah. and, there's, and there's just you and I who are on. Right now. Yeah. Okay, Mark right. told me a little bit about uh, the next uh, item uh, right. is agency accreditation. And he said uh, previously, Fran, before you came on, 
that mm -hmm. uh, there's always a silver lining uh, <laughs> and you look to the positive and one of the positive things that is taking place is that uh, people working at, on in rec are able to spend more time on accreditation and, uh, and that's all I heard about that. And the well, next I guess item, that's good. I guess that's good, yeah. And uh, and Bob Zagami, who is the assistant town manager, and I think he's in charge of human resources, is helping them, helping the rec department in every way and is very happy with what's going on. What's his last name? Zagami, Z-A-G-A-M. I, I believe, Zagami. Okay, and he's helping with the accreditation? No, he, he's just, he's the assistant uh, town manager, and he's very, help, uh, he's very happy about what he sees, and he's helping in any way. Mark, is that you? It is, yeah. I just wanted to make sure it was definitely you, because if it wasn't, I was going to kick you off, because I know Zoom has some weird... <laughs> Somebody wasn't eavesdropping on us. I don't know. That's right. Yeah, no, that, that's been an issue. Um, yeah, I don't, this happened to me the other day. Um, <laughs> the uh, RTM, me, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> the RTM <laughs> subcommittee was asking me questions about the budget. And I get like a minute into the discussion and all of a sudden my screen goes blank. Oh, and okay. Yeah, and about seven minutes later, I get back on, and they've there are two budgets ahead, and I'm like, like, did you pass my budget? Did it get cut? What happened? Oh so, no! Yeah. So anyway, uh, so Mark, I apologize. Is this your phone number is four four eight fifty ninety your number? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna, glad I'm you read your. I'm glad you read your text. <laughs> Uh, because I can hear you guys talking and I'm glad you didn't say anything bad about me because I've been listening for a few minutes now. <laughs> uh, All right. So we didn't check my text sooner. Uh, so Mark, that would have oh, been, oh. we were at the RTM, oh, that, that, that would have been an opportunity. That would have been an opportunity to tell them that you have a very old laptop. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually, oh, wait, 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 I'm going to hang up. I'm actually using I'm actually using my uh, work I mean my personal computer there you um, go yeah because the the laptops that they gave us don't have a camera on them oh. not that you necessarily need to see me but anyway um, so can you so hear me back now? online you're back online again you know I yeah, am I can hear yes you. Okay. oh perfect I okay. can hear you at least Thank you, Kendall. I hear you was, clear as day. Oh, good. Okay. Nice. Um, <laughs> so, so Mark, we're we're uh, how how are uh, uh, would you like to report on athletic fields? Okay. Can we uh, jump back to the golf course a little bit? Sure. Okay. Sure. So, um, we've got ninety members signed up. Thirty-seven of them are new members, which is good, and we're. We've made a decision to, like I was saying earlier, normally the season is April 1st to March 30th. We're actually gonna be flexing our season. And when people's circumstances change, either they're currently unemployed and they start working again, or they're underemployed or they're self isolating, what we're going to do between now and June 30th, which is the end of the fiscal year, is we're gonna let people sign up and from whatever date they sign up as a member, that membership will be good for a full for a full year from that point. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So we've uh, we just decided to do that today, and and there will be something we're going to be pushing that starting tomorrow. Good. Uh, we're also bringing the Rangers. Typically, don't start until the first of May. We're bringing the Rangers on hopefully as soon as this weekend. Uh, we have. There's some people that are um, 
keeping a watchful eye on the golf course and will take every opportunity to snap a picture and post something on Facebook if they see two people standing closer than six feet. So we're trying to get uh, the rangers out there to um, keep people isolated further than six feet. And the other thing that we did today is we marked, we put four X's on all the tee boxes and all those X's are six feet apart. And we're asking golfers to stand on the X's in the tee box as they, uh, you know, tee off. So we're taking additional steps to try to make sure that the golf course doesn't close. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of an update on the golf course. Mark, for the holes, is there, uh, is there a block or like a PCV pipe that was put in the hole? Yeah, so we put a, a, a piece of PV, or, or we put something in the hole so that the ball doesn't drop into the hole. And right. the flag sticks have all been removed too. So essentially now when you're putting, if the ball hits off of the whatever that whatever that is that's considered you know going in the hole so we've tried to eliminate as many touch points as we can uh, along the golf course great yeah yep uh let's see trails coordinating task force most of the discussion was about the um, national trails day which is june 6th uh, there's a lot of hikes planned i'm at this point, not sure if those are all going to take place. Usually the recreation department's involved with GOSA and we provide transportation for some of those hikes. Most of the hikes are not round trips. They're kind of one way. So uh, we're just, like I said, we're planning. And as things move along, we may have to adjust our plans and cancel events or reschedule them depending on what the particular event is. athletic fields so there was a task force put together uh, with representatives from youth soccer youth lacrosse baseball adult sports high school sports the athletic director uh, mark romano and, and some of his coaches are all on that they've met a couple of times and our their goal is to have uh, kind of a, a plan laid out that they can present to the council next fall to, so that there's a plan to address the shortage of fields um, moving forward. And I think the next meeting, they've decided they're gonna look at it kind of sport by sport. And I think the, the first um, fields they're gonna look at are what are needed for baseball and softball fields. And then they'll move on from there. Okay. Agency accreditation? Yeah, I think I, I mentioned this earlier. The staff is focused quite a bit on that, and we're getting yep. a lot of support from um, other departments and from the uh, assistant town manager has been really positive and, and thinks it's a, a great thing that we're doing. So that, that's been encouraging. Is there anything we can do to help with that, Mark? Yeah, I think so. We will be bringing to the commission um, various policies, procedures um, for your review and, and input. And uh, you've done one already. Um, and that was the, um, the code of ethics, code of conduct. Yes. Yeah. And so, yes, you will be, uh, you will be, uh, we will be involving you as we move forward. Uh, I think we're at the stage now where a lot of things are just getting developed and they're probably not ready, uh, not a complete draft for folks to look at. But yes, uh, we certainly intend on um, utilizing your uh, expertise and, and opinions and, and thoughts. Uh oh, are you guys still there to just get quiet? No, <laughs> you just get quiet. I, no, wasn't yeah. I can't I can't see if people are still there. <laughs> so when it gets quiet, I'm like, oh no, was I kicked off again. Yeah, no, no, we're all here. We were playing a trick okay. on you. <laughs> That's not cool, guys. Not cool. 
Any any other questions right. about accreditation? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, the Pratt Recreation Building. So, uh, as you may know, the public engagement process has already started. Uh, we, we Green Play started doing focus groups and stakeholder meetings today. They, I think, they've done them uh, morning. Uh oh. Fire. Oops. I'm sorry, my husband's cooking dinner, and clearly it's not going well. <laughs> Clearly, it's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> I'm glad to entertain you guys tonight. That's my goal. <laughs> Mission uh, accomplished. Life is an interesting thing right now. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn them in. I'm going to mute you guys. Just go on without me for a little bit. I'll listen and type. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So yes, the public engagement process is underway. Uh, stakeholder and focus group meetings took place today, uh, tomorrow, and there is a public meeting tomorrow night, a virtual public meeting tomorrow night at 6.30. Uh, if you haven't participated in one of the focus groups or the stakeholder meetings, if you could uh, participate in the public meeting, it would be greatly appreciated. And the staff did a SWOT analysis with Greenplay, a virtual SWOT analysis on Tuesday and spent about three hours going through, you know, strengths of the department, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And so what's going to happen is Greenplay is going to take all the information that they've collected and use that to help develop a needs assessment questionnaire that will be statistically valid that they're going to be distributing to uh, people in the community. And so the information that they've collected are going to help form some of the questions and common themes that they see that they've heard, seen and heard through this public engagement process. And that probably a first draft of the uh, survey we'll see in a couple of weeks and I will share that with you. Uh, with you all and uh, would welcome any input thoughts that you might have as far as uh, questions, um, e either the type of question, something that got left out or, you know, how a particular question was phrased. So that um, seems to be going pretty well. Great. Any questions regarding the Pratt uh, Recreation Building? Nope. All right, moving right along. Any unfinished business? Going once, <laughs> twice, we are moving on. Okay, Mark, budget updates. Okay, so the last two Saturdays, two Saturdays ago, I sat with the council and they went through our budget. They have not, they did not make any cuts to our operating budget, to our special revenue fund or to the golf course budget. The, they did make a number of cuts to the capital improvement projects that had been uh, proposed. So that was unfortunate. Uh, they did cut all of the money that was to go towards enhancements to Sutton Park. They cut money to expand the trails. Uh, they cut money, they cut all the money out for projects at the golf course. And they also cut out money for the uh, surveillance cameras at the community center. Oh, there is, they did leave some money in for some smaller projects. Uh, that includes finishing the work on the rowing dock at Spicer Park. Uh, they received a petition from over 365 people to have water made available at the dog park. So they've uh, kept that money in. They kept money in to complete the disc golf course, which is out in the Deerfield development. Yeah, I see you're shaking your head. That's uh, what they chose to keep in, but not 
uh, okay. Yeah, I, well. Is well, that going to be closed because of COVID or is that one active too? Because uh, people are golfing. I live in Deerfield. <laughs> oh, they are disc golfing? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. And I actually <laughs> hadn't given that a whole lot of thought. So it's good that you mentioned how like, many... See how many people are you seeing? I don't see seeing? big groups of people. I just see one or two people at a time. Okay. And I didn't well, know, but I didn't know if that was one of the, but I also never saw big groups at the basketball court. I was saying while you were gone that I've only seen families using the basketball court in our neighborhood and they're going to be disappointed that it's shut down, but yeah, it is yeah. what it is. Ooh, that reminds me, dear Phil. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'm thankful for what money we did get, but uh, disappointed in some of the decisions that were made uh, they did leave money in for the field improvements. We had budgeted a hundred thousand dollars to start making improvements to the field at the one of the fields at the community center, and that money is still in. So that is encouraging. Uh, there's money in to address the radon issue at the wing A of the community center. That's where we, the Ad recreation administration, is supposed to be moving into. And I guess there's pretty high levels of radon in the basement. So they budgeted money oh, to wow. address that. So I, I'm pleased to hear that. That's good. It is yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. Because I don't want to be very moving. good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they left money in. We had uh, got received a quote to replace all the shades in the community center. There's either no shades or shades with holes or yellow and torn. So they did leave money in for that. Uh, they did approve money for the security cameras at the senior center and money for an alarm system at the community center. So the, they left in a lot of smaller projects and cut out some of the big reallocated money to other needs uh, away from parks and recreation. So that was two weeks ago. Last Saturday, the RTM subcommittee met and they did not make any changes to the, to the budget. And this Saturday, the full RTM is gonna be reviewing the budget. So I won't know until Saturday what the final outcome of the department budget is, but that's kind of a quick summary of where we are now. So Mark, was the resurfacing of the basketball court at the community center uh, one of the projects that was left in? It was, Don, and I, I skipped over that by accident. So, okay. yes, uh, that money was left in. So that's to resurface the court that's out behind the community center. Okay. Yep, that's in there also Great. at this point. Any other questions re for Mark regarding the budget? No. Good luck, Mark. I hope it goes Thanks. well. <laughs> yeah, so do I. <laughs> um, any new business? It's going once. <laughs> we only go once, by the way. <laughs> is everybody associated with Parks and Rec healthy from the COVID? Like, is everybody okay? I didn't ask that in the beginning, but uh, we haven't is... had any people affected associated with that, have we? There is one person that's uh, self-isolating. She had symptoms over the weekend, was asymptomatic on Monday. Uh, her doctor said, don't bother coming in, self-isolate for two weeks. So, and that's a part-time person. And mm -hmm. that has been the only person to date. So we've been very fortunate. That's great. Okay, next meeting is 513. 513. Yes. Great. And 7 p.m.? Uh, yes. And I assume we'll be on Zoom again? Uh, I'm guessing probably, yes. Okay. And do I have any motions to uh, adjourn the meeting? Um, All motion. Okay, we have one. I'll, I'll second. I don't know which of us motioned, but I'm sure the other would second. 
Okay. Great. It's and it's eight oh one, and the meeting is closed. Okay, Fran, do Good you need the number for uh, the delivery? I'm sorry, what? I just asked if you needed a phone number for like a pizza delivery or for dinner tonight. <laughs> No, the crisis was averted. We oh, started that's... doing, um, so we started doing HelloFresh. I don't know if you guys have ever, ever done it, we did but it for... it, it, it's interesting. Yeah. Well, but I guarantee it, I won't be doing it. <laughs> no, <laughs> the meal, it's funny because the meals turn out really well, but I don't think the recipes work the way, like a lot of times they tell you to roast stuff on the top rack of the oven. And I think that's what happened because I forgot to tell my husband, don't use the top rack because it smokes because my husband's really hot. So, yeah, yeah, but we'll see. I don't smell smoke. So it was a very low level of smoke. <laughs> so, so Fran is really fresh. Is that an online uh, uh, delivery yeah, system? It's, yeah, it's, it's HelloFresh and they advertise on the TV all the time. And one of oh. my friends was raving about it. And we were on self-isolation for um, two weeks because my husband came back from Iceland. And if you Ooh. travel outside the country, you're not supposed to. Yeah, he was on a Fulbright fellowship and he was recalled by the State Department. It's kind of freaky. Oh, wow. But um, so since we were on self-isolation, we, we weren't supposed to go to the grocery store and it was hard to get like meals. So I started doing it and it's been great. You great. know, that's good to know. So, just so, just so you know, it's expensive, but, but it, it's, it's also it's, kind of giving us cooking lessons. And it's worth it too sometimes because they give you just what you need. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of extra stuff. So if you mm. want to try a new recipe, mm -hmm. it was yeah. what you're getting. I will say, Fran, so one of the reasons that we stopped doing it is because they messed up too many times. <laughs> In what way? Uh, so the first mess up was they um, they didn't send us. So we got we got the four person um, meals. So they only sent us two portions of the main dish for one of the dishes instead of sending because they will send it. I'm assuming you get the four person as well because you have kids. Yeah, the family. So they do it, um, so they send you like two two people portions, right? So they only send yeah. us one, one two people portions. Um, so we called mm -hmm. them and I said, well, hey, what, like, what am I supposed to do now? I have to go out and buy stuff to finish making this recipe. So they did make it right that time. And then the next couple times we got a couple rotten vegetables and then the, the straw for my husband was um, first, they didn't give him credit. <laughs> they didn't give him credit for, um, he shared like a, a coupon code with a friend of ours to try and then we were going to get uh, money off of our next order. They didn't give him mm -hmm. credit. And then that following week, we lost our order. So they couldn't tell us where it was at. It was a, it was a ship. It wasn't necessarily their fault. It was um, UPS or FedEx, whoever mm -hmm. was the shipper. Um, but they couldn't tell us if it was definitely going to be there. And then, uh, so they're like, well, it might get there by Sunday night at this time, but if not, we'll just go ahead and refund all your money. And it's like, well, that really doesn't help us because if it's not going to be here, then we need to go food shopping. So, so we need to know one way or another. Mm -hmm. But while it worked, it was great. I mean... So I don't know, maybe yeah, that I think it's been at least that. they've worked everything out. Yeah, well, so far, so good. And we're kind of using it as an opportunity to, to teach our daughters different techniques for cooking. Um, so they're episode. doing it. They can follow the recipes. So they're doing a little home ec as part of their at-home studies. Good, good. Oh, that's great. That so is great. that's how we're viewing it. Good. But yeah. So I'm going to get going because oh, I'm great. curious to see what's happened with that. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I look forward to talking to you all again in a month. I hope everybody stays healthy and safe and sane. Stay well and safe. Thank everyone. you. Yes, gonna, you too. Gonna, uh... <laughs>
going to bug off. Take here. care. All right. And feel free to communicate through email if anything comes up. Okay, we'll do. All right. Have a good Thank night. Thank you all. Yeah. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Bye.